the SD cards in the Amiga, open up command prompt but make sure you run as administrator. Once in command prompt type in disk part and then type in list disk. Uh, the disk, the SD card on my machine is disk 4 which is this one here. So then type in select disk 4 and then type clean and then type clean again. Ok great, now the SD card is formatted and ready to go uh, for the Amiga setup. So then let's set up WinUAE. Open WinUAE and run as administrator. In the properties window select the CPU tab and check fast as possible. Uncheck 24 bit addressing and check JIT. In the ROM tab select the kickstart version 3.0 file. And in the RAM tab make sure we've got 8 megabytes of Z2 fast RAM and 128 megabytes of Z3 fast RAM. Floppy drive emulate 800% and add in the workbench 3.1 disk workbench disk and hard drives add hard drive and select your 8 gigabytes uh, SD card which for me is this one uh, make sure that's on zero and select this to IDE auto add hard drive we also need to add that work directory so add directory here device name call it work volume number work and make sure it's bootable is unchecked and select the work directory which is connect this one here click OK and I think then we are good to go so let's click start ok once we've loaded into the workbench environment open the work folder then the HD tools folder and then the HD tools icon and then we need to click file system add and on the right hand side work and then on the left hand side smart file system Amiga OS 3.x L and smart file system and click load change DOS type to SFS backslash zero and then enter note that the backslash um, that is actually the same as um, hash on the UK standard keyboard and then once all that's set up click use and then select that file system and then click use and then partition drive and then add partition and then edit partition and we need to change the size the slider bar take it down to approximately 500 megabytes and then we need to change the file system to custom dos type sfs backslash zero enter change bootable yeah sorry make sure bootable is checked and on max transfer we need to change this to 0x001fe00 and change the buffers to 100 enter on all the entries make sure you click enter and then click use and add another partition edit you don't need to change the size of this file system custom DOS type should be fine, make sure bootable is unchecked. Uh, max transfer, we need to change this again, so 0x001fe00, enter, and change buffers again to 100. Enter, use, ok, now we should be good to go, click use, and then save changes to drive, now it'll ask to reboot, and once it's rebooted, um, your um, SD card will be all set up and ready to go for Amiga use. Ok, once the system's rebooted, you'll notice a new icon DH0 NDOS. This is the new 500 megabyte partition that we've created. We now need to format that using Smart File System. Uh, to do that, uh, we open Workbench 3.1 icon, 
open system and then shell once in the shell we tie a CD work Kotlin smart file system enter then we need to type SFS format drive DH0 colon space name and then type work and sh and then press enter and then press enter again and now the uh, partition DH0 has been correctly formatted using the smart file system and also it has the workbench name assigned to it um, and it's appeared on the in, within the workbench environment now uh, let's move to the next step okay now we need to install classic workbench light to do that click, press F12 and now we need to remove but first of all sorry we need to click restart not reset and we need to remove the hard drive so the SD hard drive and the work directory hard drive remove the floppy disk eject that go back to hard drives and navigate to the add and click add hard file and navigate to the system HDF file which is in the classic workbench light folder click OK make sure it's UAE device click OK and click start once you're presented with this window we need to add the uh, sorry you need to click return and return again and now we need to insert the workbench 3.0 disk not 3.1 3.0 for some reason I've had problems 3.1 so I always use 3.0 um, so press F12 again, click floppy drives, navigate to workbench 3.0, click open, ok, click return. And just um, follow the instructions. Click F12, eject uh, the workbench floppy disk, and then click reset, um, and we should be back into a new workbench environment. Now we need to transfer this workbench uh, setup across to our SD card. To do that, press F12, and then click restart. I then click add hard drive and select the your 8GB SD card make sure the controller is set to UAE and then click add hard drive and then click start now we're going to transfer the system files stored on this HDF file across to the workbench uh, partition on the SD card so to do that double click run and then single click Dopus, left click on the left hand window and then right click S and navigate to system. Double click that and then select all. Then on the right hand window click left click and then right click the S and then navigate to workbench. Double click that and then left click the system left hand window and then click copy 
and just wait for that all those files to copy across um, and then the uh, workbench will be installed onto the 500 megabyte partition on the SD card okay once the files have copied across press F12 uh, click restart uh, remove all the hard drives click add hard drive select the um, the 8 gigabyte SD card and uh, make sure this is on zero and change the controller to ID auto click add hard drive and then click start we are now in a working workbench environment working off the 500 megabyte partition on the SD card Okay, now we need to create our second partition where we're going to store our games. So press F12, remove the hard drive, uh, sorry, click restart first, then remove the hard drive, add the hard drive back in, but this time use the UAE controller and click add hard drive. Then we need to add the work directory again, so device name work, volume label work uncheck bootable and make sure you select the correct folder on your windows desktop click ok and then click start once in the workbench environment you'll see that dh1 has now uh, icon has now appeared so i need to format that in the smart file system type so double click workbench then system and then shell and in here we need to type cd work file system enter and then again we need to type sfs format drive dh1 colon name and we'll call it games enter enter again and now we should have a working formatted partition with where we can put our games. Okay, we need to now patch the hard drive partitions. Um, first of all, let's just open Workbench, System, and Shell, and let's just check the version of the um, SCSI device. So I'll type in version scs.device and it's 37.64 so we need to revise that so to do that we need to go into our dopus so double click run single click dopus left click the left hand window and right click s and then go to uh, workbench and then devs and in the left oh, sorry in the right hand window left click and right click s go to work and navigate to the a1200ide.scsi.device and copy that across and then once you're in once you've got that select select it in the left hand window and rename it click rename and just delete a1200 and then click ok um, exit out of this quit now just reboot so F12 and click reset once you're back in the workbench environment double click workbench system shell and type version SCSI dot device and it's been patched now it's um, 43.24 which is great Right, okay, so now we need to download and install all the WHD load games. I'd recommend going to this website here. I'll put the link in the notes below this video. Um, basically, what you need to do is download each individual letter pack uh, by clicking on the uh, joystick icon. Um, 
And so, for example, I'll just do with the numeric um, games. Um, and once you've downloaded each pack, um, you need to put them into the respective folder. Um, so, let's, for example, I've just downloaded this pack here. Um, and basically, you need to drag that, in, create a new folder. Um, so, 0 to 9, and then you just need to drag all those games into that folder. Uh, and you need to do that for basically every alphabetic letter. Um, so when you complete, you should have something like this set up um, with all the games within zip folders. Um, once you've done that, ready for the next step. I have created um, an alphabetic folder directory to help you out. I'll, I'll put a link for that um, zip folder also in the notes below. Okay, so let's transfer these games to our Amiga SD card stroke hard drive. Um, so what we first need to do is in our work directory we need to create a file in here, let's just call it um, folders and what we need to do is the alphabetical folder directory just copy all those folders into there. Okay and what we need to do we need to open win your ear options again go to hard drives and we need to now add in the WHD load so call that WHD load D and WHD uh, uncheck bootable and then select the WHD loads directory on your PC hard drive okie dokie and then just click um, ok and now I need to click reset okie dokie so now what we need to do is open opus so open opus back up left click left hand window right click s and navigate to uh, work uh, double click folders and select all and then left click the right hand window right click s and go to your games folder uh, and then click back on the work and then click copy ok so that's all the folder directories set up now on your games partition. Now uh, left click left hand window, right click S and go to WHD. Now just on the little right hand window just go back up. So go back up to 0 to 9, open that folder up and on the left hand window double click 0 to 9. Now click in, here, in this window click all and then we need to click arch extract. So this will basically install all the WHD load games um, onto your games partition. Now you need to do this for every letter. Some letters take longer than others, obviously there's more games in some folders than others. Okay, now that we've copied across all the games, we need to now add the kickstart files. So to do that, um, click on, uh, right click on S and go to work and go to your WHD load kickstarts, open that up. Then on left hand side, right click on S and go to workbench, devs um, and kickstarts. Now on back on the left hand side, select all, and then just press copy, and just and just um, just click all on there. And now we should be good to go. Once you've removed all the screws, the back of the Amiga. First thing we need to do is install the 
accelerator card, so using a flathead screwdriver, just pop open the trap door cover and make sure you got it the right way up. Get it, put it in that way very carefully. And then just push on the back of the card until it That's in. Now I'm not going to put the trap door cover back on because it gets quite hot this so keep, I keep that off. Just turn it back the other way. Pop the top off. Careful because the um, LED light is here. That's still screwed in. And then just lift the keyboard off as well. Like so. Mine doesn't have the floppy drive in because it's faulty, so I need to send that back. Well, send it to a media kit to get repaired, so it'll still work. You don't really need the floppy drive. Um, next step really is to install this um, IDE connector to SD. So that's basically where all the, um, the setup of media files are going to. So just pop that in there and connect this into this part here which is the ID connection so I just put that in there. And that's that. Just put it back together.
Select now for magma. Select now for magma. Select now for magma. Select now for magma. 